the Chow Chin Chow, Stitch Beats Games here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Z, the randomized Brave Rerun Challenge. In the last episode, we made it right here to Dujon City, and of course, today we're going to be checking on the first Sigil Hall. And I've just had a failed recording on my own stupidity, which I cannot believe I am the biggest nonce ever. I forgot to hit the record button on Camtasia and hit the record button on Audacity to start recording my voice. But I forgot to hit the record button on Camtasia. So you guys didn't see any of the recording that I was doing. You saw, you heard my voice, but you didn't see anything at all. And it, it's kind of annoying when that happens. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> that is a cut. Like that need that need to be cut out of the recording. Anyway, so let's take a look at my rivals here. I'm not on level to actually take on this right now. Because the, uh, the, let's just say the Vestral Spear has not given, been not very nice to me in, uh, Mons that is giving me to grind. Instead of giving me, like, uh, good Mons that I can use to grind, it's basically just gave me, like, first evolutions in their 60s. And that's not helping. Like, a canopy level 60 is not going to help anyone grind at all when you need like things like Gengar at level 60. Because that would be awesome. Gen Final evolutions at level 60 would allow me to grind so, so easily, but I don't have those. What I have is like first evolutions at level 60 a lot, and it made me just think to myself, I'm getting nowhere here grinding. And I've faced all the trainers, so that doesn't help. I don't have any more trainer experience I can get hold of anywhere in Zeta. So this is it, really. I've got this is my one shot at doing this, and I don't have the ability to do it, but we'll see what happens. All the victors, here we go. And uh, let's get my actual proper team. Okay. I really want to get back to where I was in the failed recording. So, if I do, like, speed up or not pay attention to per a person's text, it's because I'm trying to get back to where I was in the failed recording. Because I was halfway through the fa the fanboy fight with the old man before I actually realized I wasn't recording. I was, like, ten minutes into the episode. And it's annoying me how that, that happened. Because I shouldn't make those kind of mistakes. I'm, a pro I'm not a professional, but, like, I at least should act professional. And not make those kind of mistakes. Reggie Ice does not... I don't like Reggie Ice's cry. I don't like any of the Reggie's cries, actually, to tell you the truth. I'm not a big fan of the Reggie's cries. They're just they're a big turn-off, in a way, really. Because they just sound disgusting. That's the one thing I hate about the Reggie's. All of them sound disgusting. Even Reggie Gigas' cry just sounds disgusting. I might have to put, like, Reggie Gigas' cry into this game to just... Uh, into this uh, little bit to, like, tell you... To show you guys. It just sounds disgusting. Like, all the Reggie cries sound disgusting. And this gold just almost killed me because of Hydro Pump hitting twice. And I'm, and I'm slower than it. This person has one more pound to the left. It's a Weavile. I have to switch out into someone who can deal with Weavile. That is Kickstart. Come on, Kickstart. You can deal with Weavile's Night Slash. Ugh. Owie. And that hurts. Oh, that does a crit. Okay, that, that was a crit. Do I have this? I do. Cool. Okay, that was kind of scary. That was kind of scary, but the crit happened. That was kind of scary. I need potions. And I have potions in this bag here, so I'm going to use them. <laughs> that was kind of scary. Okay, you're back up to almost full health. You're back up to almost full health. That'll do for now. I know there's like little bits of health here and there, but I can't really give you them. I wish I could. Because I need just like smaller healing items. Because the only other healing items I have in my bag are orange berries right now. And I don't want to use orange berries. Can I sky up a cook kill Adina? It can. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. I love level 76. Thank you very much, game. And a swallow. 
Okay, I can't kill that. That is Beacon's uh, territory. All over it. Beacon is all over that. Aerial Ace. Okay, that did nothing. That's fine. But you did get the Paralyze. Take that. And take some of this, too. Thunderbolt. That'll kill. That'll kill. That'll kill. Yes, it will. Dead Swallow. And... A Shroomish. A Signal Beam. I can stay in a Signal Beam this thing. This, I'm not scared of a Shroomish. Now, I could even, if I was to win with RTK, I could actually just Ice Beam it, because I'm still not scared of a Shroomish. But I'm in here with Beacon, so not scared of a Shroomish. Not going to switch on to my super effective Fire type to deal with a Shroomish. And a Zigzagoon. Again, not switching into my super effective fighting type to deal with a Zigzagoon. The Zigzagoon decided to use Belly Drum at level 80. You're not living this Dragon Pulse. You can cut your HP in half all you want. It's not helping you. Right, we are back at the fanboy. Let's do this again. Oh, Tobias is just beyond this door. You are just some random kid. You are not worthy of facing Tobias. Not even worthy of be You're not even worthy of being a fanboy. I am sorry. That is my job. Oh, I am the fanboy of the one and only Tobias. You will never get past me and my poison tag team. I think I will, mate. Let's start off with... Okay, you start off with a b barrel. That's not a poison type. Also, that's a very dead Pokemon because it's a b barrel. It just sucks. The only thing b barrel is good at is being a HM slave because it can learn... It can learn every HM bar fly? Yeah, that's right. It can learn every HM bar fly. I'm right. Because it doesn't have wings. And... Help, maybe Mega Bar Barrel, or uh, if the, they decide to have a new, uh, another Bar Barrel evolution, maybe they could give Bar Barrel for. Maybe if Bar Barrel ever evolved or ever got a Mega Evolution, they can give it wings, and then it can learn fly, <laughs> and then become it. Then it. Be That's a Life Orb Heracross. No wonder. No, but the Kickstart can't deal with that. That's a Life Orb Heracross with close combat. I'm not surprised Kickstart died there. Thank you for coming in there, King Boo. And now speeding the Heracross and dealing with it because that's a Life Orb Heracross with close combat. Like, the amount of salt that is flying through me right now is just annoying. But, like, I can't deal with that. R remember the Landorus from last episode that the, the Nuzlocke trainer had? That was impossible to deal with. This is impossible to deal with. If as well, this Coochie Enna is just... Almost decided to kill me with a crunch. A Litwick. Chibi, I'm like, I know Chibi, um, uh, Chibi's not very happy I picked Wobbuffet, but I still need to kill it. I don't think Chibi's gonna ever forgive me now because I keep on killing her, I keep on killing uh, her, poke, her mascot, and I keep on killing, uh, and I picked uh, Wobbuffet in the league. She's never gonna forgive me. Me and her, which is. Which I'm kind of afraid of, really, because I like Chibi. She's a very good friend of mine. We've been friends for almost three years, almost two and a half years now. So I prefer not to be not friends with her anymore over the fact that I picked a Wobbuffet. And I also use a female Wobbuffet named Jessie. It would seem that I've lost. I think I've underestimated... I think you have underestimated the uh, power of Tobias. You have no chance of beating him. This is the reason why I am a fanboy of him. Good luck, trainer, but you don't have a chance. Thanks, old man. You're the worst old man in the world. You don't, you're don't. you not filling me with any belief of yes, I can do this. You're filling me with the belief of no, I cannot do this. Not today, not ever. Which is not cool. 
Don't fill me with that belief. I want to do this. All right, let's uh, let's get, let's do this. Let's save the game rather quickly. Let's post our thumbnail. And welcome, Joanne. Welcome to the Hall of Victors. This is my sigil hall, my humble abode, the place where I live. Before we begin, is there anything you uh, I can help you with? Uh, fanboys. All oh, those uh, you've you've met them. Uh, these four uh, have been thorns in our side for months now. I wouldn't pay any uh, mind to them though. They're not, they're no real threat, they're just major annoyance, if anything. Is there anything else? The fifth sigil hall? I've heard about that myth, but honestly, I don't believe it. There are four sigil halls. Each sigil hall is run by an elite four member. There are not five, there's not an elite five, Joanne. Who would run the fifth hall? Is there anything else? No, it's just battle. Well then, Joanne, the Elite Four Champion, prepare yourself. Feel the wrath of my Dark-type Pokemon. I'll be surprised if you actually have any Dark-type Pokemon, Tobias. Tobias starts off with a Beedrill. Um, Blaze Kick. Kickstart, this is not the time for you to miss a Blaze Kick. In fact, it's the worst time for you to be missing a blaze kick. Since we recently got the poison jab poison. This is the worst time for you to miss a blaze kick if he gets the poison jab poison. Okay, level 77 for play. Uh, level 77 for kickstart. That's good. S Cavalier. Well, again, I kind of hint at the blaze kick. Thank you. I'd be surprised if you live. Right, you don't live. Who? Oh. S Cavaliers are quad weak to fire. I have Blaze Kick. Blaze Kick is super effective. Blaze Kick is annoying. I'm awesome. Mask of Rain. Again, I kind of need the Blaze Kick to hit here. Because that's a bug type. In fact, that's your third bug type. You've become a bug type trainer, which is exactly against what you normally are. Because the fact is, it, if you. A Solosis. Okay. I wouldn't mind dying to a Solosis. I will not mind dying to a Solosis. You know, I'm going to die to poison anyway, so definitely wouldn't mind it if I did. Flamethrower is going to kill me. All right. Mime Junior? Okay, I died to poison. But this has not been a... This has been an easy battle so far. Um, Shadow Ball. You're not fairy yet. And a leafy on. Damn it, I've lost my fire type. King Boo, I kind of need you to do this by yourself here. Okay, Shadow Ball's doing really nice damage. Sunny Day is kind of annoying, but like Shadow Ball is doing some really nice damage here. Nice! Who says I need to grind? Despite my hopes, I was defeated. You are truly spectacular. Give me the sigil whore, victors. That was a fantastic battle. You have definitely improved since I last saw you. Since you were last in the Elite Four. Here's your reward for defeating me. I obtained the vessel, uh, the victor's sigil. I believe uh, traditionally I would give away a TM as well. Take this, it's one of my favorites. Dark Matter. Dark Matter is a great finishing move. It is really high power, but you lose it all. You, but you use it, and you must recharge on the next turn. Think of it like a dark type hyper beam. Hey, can anyone learn this dark type hyper beam that you just gave me? TM 107. Dark Matter. Oh, 
Dark Matter Gengar. I'm doing it. To hell with night. To hell with Dark Pulse. Dark Matter. 150 with an accuracy of 90. It's special too, so Gengar would benefit from this. Which is better because the fact is, like, both Bidey and RTK can learn this too. And the fact is, Tanky won't benefit from it. Because they're physical attackers. Gengar is the only Pokemon that would benefit from having Dark Matter. Oh my god, that is awesome. I'm so happy to have Dark Matter. Right. Uh, the Pokemon Center is right here. The houses don't really have a lot of things in. I will show you one house uh, to prove my point, but uh, there's one house I find quite weird. Because remember the house full of why nots a few a uh, few uh, episodes back, like t uh, like a load of episodes back. If you do remember, it, let me know in the comment section down below. This house has a lot of fungus. And it's kind of weird how it has so many fungus. And that's a tet. Uh, I don't know. And that's a craniodose that is green. Maybe it's a delta. That maybe that's a delta craniodose. So there's a lot of fungus here, and poss a possible delta finger uh, craniodose. That's pretty cool too. Shh. Rosarin's talking. We're starting. We're thinking about a rebellion. Okay. Look, this really isn't the best time. Okay. So, uh, may I just say you have a problem with the amount of fungus uh, and amungus in your house? It's gonna, like, call... Like, you're not gonna be able to breathe with that many poison-type Pokemons in your house. You're not gonna be able to breathe. Okay, so this is Route 321 right here. Can I surf on the... No, I can't surf on the lava. Okay, I don't know what I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting there. I was possibly expecting for me to be able to surf on the lava. Which is not a thing. This is not like Platinum where you can get lava surfed, yo. This is... Although, I wouldn't put it past this game to have something like lava surf in this game. I really wouldn't put it past them. I really wouldn't put it past them. Carvana. Um, I could probably. St I mean, Aqua Jet's annoying, and it's going. It's that's a crit. Okay, that was a crit. Sky Uppercut should kill. Yeah, it does. Cool. I don't like that they crit me. Really don't like the fact they crit me. Sing. Oh, God damn it. I went to sleep. Tickle. Damn it. Come on. Wake up. Kickstart. Well, there goes. Kickstart. Bye bye, Kickstart, for the moment in time. I will revive you. Zenny, coming out here, please. And hammer arm this thing, please. Oh. Sorry if you saw Mouse on screen. I didn't even realize Mouse was on screen. Sorry about that. Hopefully, I'll be able to remember to edit that off in editing. So, uh, yeah, I, you won't see Mouse on the screen. Because I'm good like that. I'm good at editing. Although, sometimes I forget that I'm not even pressing the record button. <laughs> that was a crit. Don't crit me with Tail Slap. This thing's put me to sleep and is now just uh, deciding to tail slap me. I can't do anything about it. Wait, wake up. Wake up. There we go. Chinchina finally goes down and it almost took out two of my Pokemon in order to do it, but yeah. I need to go and heal again now. What kind of encounters can I get in here? Level wise, I mean. 64s. Um, it's a start. And it's a final evolution, so it's something, but 
It's not really great. It, level 75 is pretty cool. But I really need to, like, for the next sigil hall, I kind of need to grind. Like, I really need to grind for that one because I think she's around her 90s. Like, 96, I think, is our highest Pokemon. So, yeah, I'm not looking forward to Colette. I'm really not looking forward to Colette because the fact is, if this game doesn't give me mons I can grind against, there's really not much I can do. But we'll have to wait and see on that. I'm not going to put repels up because the fact is I kind of need the grinding right now. So if I can kick some, if I can kick something in the face, I'm going to kick it in the face. And if, if this episode takes a lot longer because of that reason, then so be it. I want to kick stuff in the face. I want to bite this thing. Because this thing is going to kill me if I don't. I also kind of want to uh, switch in and show Dark Matter off. But I also don't want to do that because that would kill me. Delusion would kill me if I did try to do that. There we go. RTK is good. Right. Let's beat the scientist up. This is an actual, actual volcano. Like an actual factual volcano. Maybe I've run into like something here that actually could be rather interesting. Like heat run or something. Blaze kick. Kill the, kill the Breloom. Yeah. Kill the Breloom. Whoa, that almost gave me an entire level from killing the Breloom. Togekiss. You're not fairy yet. And Beacon has moves that can deal with you. This thing is glowing. Beacon. It outspeeds Beacon somehow. That's annoying. Beacon Thunderbolt? Uh, still not going to kill, is it? Or a spear. I can live it. I'm fine. Dead Togekiss. There we go. Go. Okay, level 80 for both Kickstart and Beacon there. And a cast form. I'm not worried. Like, who would be worried about a cast form? Especially normal cast form. If you don't decide to put weather up, you're not helping yourself here. Put some weather up and put some effectiveness behind your great moves that it makes cast form good. It did quite do damage to me. Maybe it's a draft cast form. No. <laughs> that thing is awful for a reason. No one should ever draft cast. No one should ever draft cast form. <laughs> Let's see what this guy's got. This guy starts off with a Munchlax. Well, I have Sky Uppercut for that. I have Sky Uppercut, and that should do a lot of damage. It does kill. So I'm sort of relying on the, the randomizers giving me bad ones here, which is sort of a thing I shouldn't be relying on, but like it's happening. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna not let it happen. I mean, it's a matter of the randomizer, but I'm okay with this. Definitely okay with the randomizer giving me bad mons. To the mons that I can deal with very, very easily right now. Very, very much okay with this right now. What else you got for me? A Porygon. Well, you have Trace. Trace Porygon is a thing. Zap Cannon is annoying, but you missed. I will take the future side attack, but it fails because that's a psychic type move on a dark type Pokemon, but it doesn't work. Dead Porygon. Okay, down here, across, and let's run into this guy. Okay, the game's glitchy, and this actually deletes the bridge. Agron. 
Uh, Kickstart, can you sky up a cut this thing? Because Agron shouldn't live a, kick, a sky up a cut, because it's quite weak to fighting. Level 81, not bad, Kickstart. Oh my god, can I have, Oh, I almost got 82 from that. Voltorb, not scared of Voltorb. You can magnet rise all you want, it's not helping you. No, no, it doesn't help you. And now you and now you're spamming it for the reason but you can only use it once. Bye bye. E2, nice. So if I run into the good Pokemon, the, the Pokemon that can uh, I need to deal with, I can just destroy things right now. Sky uppercut. Okay. More sky uppercuts. This thing can die. Uh, eventually. This thing will die eventually. There it goes. It looks like a lasagna or a pile of dirt, but it's dead. <laughs> I almost got level 83 for that. And a Snorlax. More sky uppercuts, please. And this one's going to take a while because Snorlax is bulk. Snorlax is the literal effect of just bulk. There we go. Yo! Oh, so close to getting level 84 from that. So, so close to getting level 84 from that. That was awesome. That was a good, that was a good load of experience I got from that. Which is a shame because you can't get that, you can get that experience from trainer battles, but you can't get that kind of experience from like other things. Reggie Rock. Um, more sky uppercuts. Ooh, that does like half. Not bad. Uh, scat. No, well, there's the zap cannon. That was a crit paralyze. Okay, zap cannons are kind of annoying. Okay, that's Reggie Rock down. I will take level eight. I will take level eighty four from that. And almost level 85, Frogadier. Uh, let's go into Beacon. Because we can deal with most of these things right now without having to grind, which is awesome. Um, Beacon, can you... Like, I would like you to hit this thing now, please. There we go, Beacon. It shouldn't live a Thunderbolt from you. It really shouldn't. Greninja may live a Thunderbolt, but Frogadier should not. And an Anorith. Well, I'm not scared of that. I might literally not scared of the Anorith. Rock Blast is annoying, but like, I'm not scared of the Anorith. I will heal after this battle. Wow, it actually hit five times and kills Beacon. That's not fair. On what planet is that fair? Because it's not fair here where we live. It's not fair. Cross scissor. Okay, this dude, this guy's got me. Like Anarif is like good right now. It killed Beacon. It like it killed Beacon. It almost destroyed RTK. Um. I'm going to heal up and get Beacon back to being alive. I might try and take on that one last bat. Uh, there's a, a, cham a, a channel there and I want to take her on as the last match of this episode. Okay, let's do this. There's another person right there too, so we'll take him on in the next episode. Uh, actually, we'll probably take, we'll probably take him on now. You start off with a Caracosta. Um, let's go into Zenny. It's quite weak to grass, so Sea Bomb. Aqua Tail. Yeah, that does nothing to me, that's fine. Sea Bomb. Quad, you're quad weak to this. I know I'm 10 levels behind you, but you're quad weak to this. 
And you just put up with rain. That's not gonna... Well, that sort of helps, but it doesn't actually help you die. There we go. Nice work, Zanny. And a fortress. Uh, well, that's uh, not your territory. That is a uh, kickstart. Kickstart can, like, one blaze kick. That should be enough to kill a fortress. Double edge. Um, okay, that kind of hurt. Recall's kind of, recall's kind of cool. One more bla one blaze kick should kill. Because recall should get rid of your sturdy. And it does. Awesome. Nice. Level 74 for Zenny. Not bad. A, a Mewtwo. Um, RTK. It's using me first, but there was no target. Um, God Swap. So you switched guards, so you switched your defense stats with RTK, that's fine. Means you might live, recover, that's okay too, because you're not hurting me right now. RTK can keep on crunching you. There we go. Legendaries are still scary to run into, like all the time. And a Magnemite. Uh, let's go into Zenny and Bulldoze or Hammer Arm. Let's go into Zenny. Zap Cannon misses. Cool. Um, Hammer Arm. Hammer Arm is stabbed, so it's guaranteed to do more damage. And it also has a hell of a lot more power than Bulldoze does. And I don't know where the team for Earthquake is in this game. Yeah, I'm not going to face you. I'm just going to face this battle and leave it, and leave off this episode here. So, I'm going to end this episode here. In today's episode, we took down the Hall of Victors and we received our first seal. The seal of the Victors seal. So, that was pretty cool. And in the next episode, we'll continue on heading towards the next uh, sigil hall. And that is Colette's Sigil Hall. So that is what we'll do in the next episode. But until then, I have been Joe's PH Games. If you have enjoyed this episode, you can leave a like, comment, and subscribe. But until next time, I'm out. See you again.